Hey everyone, so in this video what I want to do is show you the capture flow blueprint and what that does for quest 3 pass through. Essentially when you create a pass through application you're taking it for granted that the user has already set up their scene but what we can do is we can use this node capture flow to tell the headset that the player needs to map their living room or their space. So when they're in it, we can do that automatically. So we can kick it in when we play the game or we can have that as part of the menu. I'm not gonna do the menu thing just yet because I'm gonna have that in a different series. But what I wanna do is show you how we can actually use the capture flow to boot it up. So what, for the, what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna use the level blueprints. And I'm doing that because in level blueprint, I can get a reference to the Oculus XR scene actor, which we created in the other video. And then I can actually call it from here, making it just a little bit easier to follow along. Uh, what you could do is have this as part of a interactive menu. So you could have a button in UMG element that says, okay, the player is selected to scan their scene. And then we could actually go through and do that. So because we're in the level blueprint, what I can do is I can go to variables. I can search for XR scene. And you see here we've got XR scene actor. I could do an object reference, and then if I give this a name, <coughs> we can hit compile and then we get access to Oculus XR Scene Actor. So through this drop down, I can select that variable, and this is directly referencing the actor that we have in our level. And through that, we can do something like event begin play. And then we can get this, so get actor, and simply launch capture flow. So it's a super simple node, and we do need a direct reference to the actor, the scene actor that's in our level. Without this, it won't work. So you need to make sure you have that. But what that'll do is on begin play when this level loads. So in the other video, we have it so we go out to a permissions level, checks permissions, after a second, it loads this level. And now what we're doing is we're capturing the flow. So we're saying, okay, we need to tell this player that they're using it in our game. They need to map their room. And this, this node is going to do that for us. And after that, it will bring them back into the application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this and I'm just going to load it to my headset. And then we'll hop over to that once it's done. And then we'll take a look at how it works. Cool. So we're in the headset. And I'll make sure I stand next to the mic. But what we can do is we can load up the application and because the way it's set up is as soon as it opens that second level, it should then kick in the scene and room mapping. So we wait for it to load. We allow permissions. There we go. It loads in the screen and now it's asking us the space setup is complete. So that's because I've already done it. So you can see the room is mapped and then we can take that from here to complete. And then we should enter back into the room or to the level where our guns are on the floor and my hands are now attached. And then we've got the guns so we can actually go back to what we were doing. So we can pick those up and then come back over and have it so we can shoot those around. So if you attach that to something like a, a player menu that spawns in front of your player's face, you can actually go through there and you can have that as an option to remap the room. So quite a simple node, but a powerful one, especially with pass through. Um, you want to be able to give as many options as possible for players to be able to kick that in themselves. And you don't want to do it every time. So having that available means that hopefully they can do that without having to break anything in your game. And you can make sure it's done on their end because they might not have that scene set up already done. So, super quick video. I really hope that helped. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the Discord below and the Patreon if you want to get some behind the scenes and early access stuff. So, until then, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.